Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing some All of the Jedi. Um, and we have already deployed the wrong starting location because <laughs> I didn't go back and look at my deck list. Um, all right, but we have some activation, which is good. Uh, we're going to deploy that. Uh, we, I, I'm assuming we only want to deploy if we can draw Battle Destiny. So we're going to hang off on these and just draw some cards. Oh. <coughs> have a grabber, so that is fine. We don't need to say force. <laughs> it was probably by clicking on my deck I noticed it was lit up. <coughs> First time in All of the Jedi, uh, let's see, I'll show you the deck list, what we're working with here. Um, I was supposed to start, this is the deck that we put together, we have a U3PO, which I think is probably huge, double voyeur seems good, double barrier seems really good, um, I thought it would be fun, I was going to start Carida and then pull these two, and then this one lets me pull creatures so I can pull the Sleen to take away their icon, and if they came down to fight me I could, uh, um, I could, oh, sure. Let's do that. Why not? Um, and if we, yeah, if they come down to fight me down here, then I could drop a Rancor on them. I don't know how good that is. I don't even know how creature combat works, but I thought it'd be hilarious. And I think that is the big advantage of sealed formats, is getting to do fun, cool stuff that you don't get to do in other formats. It looks like he's got enough for a space deck here, which... Um, as you can tell from my deck list, I do not have a lot of space. I had hardly any ships worth playing. Um, and I don't even know if we have a unique battleground anymore. Because it was here. Did we have another one? Yeah, they're both in our hand, so that's all good. Uh, so that's fine. We have seven... We could go down with two, four, and then we need one more ability. Five, six, seven. We don't have any alien leaders, but he's plus three. We're defending, so he's a pretty big house. So I think we just do it <coughs> and start draining. This might be a, I don't know, force drain minus one. Alright, we don't have one saved for the barrier. He knows it's in our hand. Because <laughs> he played the perimeter scan. Which is quite a good garden sealed. So this is, I think, what is going to make this format fun though. Like, when you crack a pack and you're like, oh my god, pull Tradirium, what a god. To deploy five forfeit, just a monster. <laughs> You know, like that, finding the value in uh, those cards that would, I guess he sees play in ISB, the virtualized one, but like, 
I guess this guy just saw play in the Walker's deck too. But, you know, you know what I'm saying. The cards that don't get played as much. What? <laughs> some cards. And we're going to save one for barrier. We do have fears and we do have one walker. There's some of our pilots. We don't have any ships though. Lots of our pilots. We need a ship. Oh, there's our grabber. One more. I okay, need two barriers. They never expect the second barrier. Well, maybe he does, but. Alright, who's going to get lost here? This, I think, can. Uh, can be a way to get this back into our deck. Maybe that's helpful. Probably this guy driving a vehicle. Yeah. Uh, characters are always good. What's this? I feel like he's not going to come attack us here. He looks like he's set up to be in space. Oh. That should be uh, achievement points there. There's all the Jedi achievements playing a barrier that blocks Chewbacca in the art on a Chewbacca. That should be achievement points. Oh, the feared Elam. 4 2 for 3. What a beast. The Hamanth. Yeah, she's awesome too. I have one of her in my light side deck. <laughs> all of a sudden, all these Imperials get uh, pretty pricey. But that's okay. He's not Imperial. He's only power one, so he's kind of useless. Um, we're not even gonna. Do we want to cycle this just to take a peek? No, it's fine. Marketplace down. Is this Starship? Anything he pilots? Okay, so that's a pretty good combo. So we can go with these, and their deploy isn't going to be affected. Hopefully, Tedirium will be the sacrificial lamb I guess we could what's her forfeit three Um, Evax is also a 2 5. He's a 3 4, but he'd be cost more force. 
I guess in case he draws low, we want to have some sort of backup. So let's check it down. And then let's fight. Oh yeah, let's do that. Put that back in the deck, so now we know we have a five. seven cards down. Correction, we have a five, six, no, seven cards down still. What's he gonna pull? A three. Okay, good thing we deployed Sill Lunch. Alright, so that was good. We still have one more barrier, which he doesn't know about now. Take one from this damage, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna draw a couple cards. Okay, seven cards down. Here's our five. It's the drain of one. What do we lose here? Characters don't want to lose this either. I feel like we're not going to get this combo off this game. Although it would be fun to shoot down that Falcon. He's loading up the Falcon. Interesting. Just in case. Maybe that weapon scared him. Uh -huh. Tactical. Tactical choice of force loss. Intimidation. Alright, so now we can get a really good beat down here. Maybe he's looking for a gick. He did lose one off the top before. What did we say? Seven cards, right? <laughs> yeah, seven cards. Would be that five. Blue milk to activate one force. Uh, let's not grab that. Because he's playing it as used, right? Let's instead voyeur it. Blue. Milk. Okay, he's got that perimeter scan is still in there, and an anti-barrier card. Anti-barrier is huge. Alright, so seven. Eleven cards in hand. Can't control anything. So I think we're gonna deploy over here. <coughs> Is this Moss Aspa? No. We're getting quite low in hand. That's okay since we have that barrier. And two huge. Um, those guys an extra two power. They're more scared about the forfeit. Let's keep the power. He has. 
has the Hujix. I'm not going to grab it. There's no point in that. I'm not going to recycle this yet. That's not ideal. I want to keep. <laughs> Another card that you'd never see. Target any character except at one of your exterior planet sites. <laughs> Target is missing. And then they gotta figure out how to find a search party. Although I'm sure on GIMP it's way easier to just like click, click, click. And uh, search party it is. Um, okay, I should have been keeping track of where that five is. That's my bad. My bad. Haven. Starship opponents when battling. Nice. So I'm never going there for sure. But we might consider. Oh, it must be a smuggler bounty hunter, right? I forgot about that. Our pilot is that. And I think there's one other pilot in the deck, but the beers can't pilot it. Is there another smuggler bounty hunter? Oh yeah, this guy. Smuggler? No. Uh, this guy is a smuggler, yeah. So we do have two pilots for that ship. Probably a bad card to run. Alright. We get some... Activation here. Let's put this back in our deck. So, seven cards down. We still have two zeros floating around in here. Oh no! <laughs> That's a great card. Love it. and constructed to even um, whoa what is this option here oh retrieve a force uh, well, let's force train first and think about how we want to spend this uh, she only costs one we need to save one for barrier So four, five, six, seven. We wouldn't be drawing any cards. So let's not do it this turn. We don't want to get blown out here. There's our smuggler. Yes. <laughs> U3PO, but I don't think we'll need him. It looks like we are fairly secure on the ground. The nice thing about this format too is that the games go really fast. deploy bonus and then he's going to move oh okay now he's loaded with space fortunately for him we are going to win this race uh oh what does this do and one sacrifice is forfeit loses one force unless sacrifice okay okay look at that he's got his two starships awesome 
So that's not the right guy though, right? Got to move something over here. So it looks like we're just going to park ourselves here. He's coming over there with the Falcon. And then he'll reinforce here. I think that is most likely not to get played. Oh, we didn't reinforce here. Does he draw here? He doesn't draw here. I would have moved somebody here. Alright. Um, so, how far down was that five? Anybody remember? Chat, help me out. No, there's no chat. Uh... Retrieve one. Oh, we had the Famba Gung and Energy Shield combo. That was amazing. Uh, wait, the, why can't I deploy this? They add one pilot. Must be a smuggler or a bounty hunter. Okay, well, I have a smuggler. Why can't I deploy this? Uh, may add one pilot. Must be a smuggler. Like, even if I didn't have a pilot, I should be able to deploy it. Okay, so we're going to take three damage. I don't think it's going to matter. He's no longer on three, four. He's doing four a turn. We're doing three a turn, retrieving one. So we're just going to win. So that's fine. Oh, really? Sure, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Oh, it's every turn. Mm. Yeah, that could be a problem. Okay, 
that's enough. It's every turn. I still think we win. We're doing three a turn to his one, two, three, four and a half a turn. Plus this to his three and a half a turn. I guess we could save those locations and go down, but. All right, so two cards down, we got a five. Uh, well, if I can't deploy this. I want to see next turn. Oh, he's not a smuggler. He's the wrong guy. Oh, I'm such a dumb dumb. <laughs> Should we try and draw to find that guy? No, we'll still need a ton to deploy him. He's got to be in here. We're screwed. Uh, the voyeur, we can cycle. So this will be a voyeur and battle droid. And we'll leave a five on top. Just in case there's a fight. Oh no, because we're going to pay four to retrieve one. There are a ton of starships in his pool. This is like pretty much every starship in my pool almost. <laughs> Aside from like a Thai scout. Uh, let's retrieve one. Sling. Don't need. He's got one card in hand. He's not coming after me, so I don't need these. Onyx. Okay, there's something that can be piloted. So how much does that cost to deploy? Three, seven, one to initiate. Can I soak up all the other drains, though? It's going to be close. this so that I won't have a destiny
so we get hit with one for this. We have eight, so we could initiate, but. Yeah, I wonder... Uh, undercover spy, it seems as a... <laughs> there we go. We both weren't <laughs> realizing it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, that's fun. Well, fun and quick. I like that. That is that. Sealed. All the Jedi sealed. Uh, since we didn't do this before the game, maybe we'll do it now. Um, so how all the Jedi works is essentially if you sign up for the League, um, and I think you can um, join. Uh, you just have to go to the forums to join. Hold on a second. I should have been better prepared for this. Uh, Let's go to collecting form because I don't have the other one bookmarked. Uh, so, board index. Gamp online play. Sealed league signups. So, um, all you have to do is um, send this to Batmouse and he will get you signed up. And then every month. Um, when it is time for the new league and it shows in here when the leagues are so this is all the Jedi sealed which runs from the 20th to August 10th um, so this one just started so when I think the day before the 20th popped up in your um, in the main screen it'll show you that you've got a bunch of packs just like the pop-up uh, that had my uh, little promo foil card there It'll pop up and show you that you got a bunch of packs. So that if you go to your account um, and you click on uh, all of the Jedi sealed, and you click on packs, it'll show up all your packs for this sealed league here. So then you bust them all open, see what's there, and then you click on while you're in all the Jedi sealed, you click on cards, and they will all show up here so that this is your pool to build your uh, decks from, right? 
Um, they do have the one, uh, the, and yeah, when you sign up, they also give you, I think, the signal and Twi'lek advisor, so you can pull one effect to start. I believe they give you one random space battleground and one random uh, site battleground, or system battleground and site battleground from, uh, uh, for each side that you can have access to battlegrounds and then within the rules of the game popped up there once per game you can deploy a battleground from your zero deck unique one so yeah this was you go through your pool and then you put together 40 card deck uh, starting location usually two zero is ideal I think to kind of deny your opponent although in this deck I should have started Kirida and then uh, and then use uh, this one to pull the swamp and the jungle and then use the uh, swamp to pull the sleen to take away their icon and then use the those to kind of fight over and then this is my big drain site so maybe there is cards in here that i should have included that didn't obviously stuff like this terrible rare unless you pull an aura sing he pulled a gold uh, one double bosk but like look at the terrible forfeit value i think like all-star characters in this format are pretty much anyone with high ability like if you can draw battle destiny on your own you are a monster uh or anyone with a really good ratio two five for two ability two power like evax is just a sealed league all-star uh, undercover spy really hard to get rid of too as if he had had that hand on the ground I would have been hooped so yeah that is sealed and uh, we're going to do another game with uh, do some a few more games the light deck that I have I think is going to be pretty good because I opened uh, Double Pukamir, who adds one to your drains on Cloud City with like a handful of Cloud City sites. So I can start this as a 3 0, deploy this, and then uh, just go to take over Cloud City. I also got an Amidala, a 3 4. Uh, she's really good. I thought about going Naboo because I deploy my swamp to Naboo and other people that go with that or she goes with Amadella, so that's good and he does um so yeah this should be fun this guy two four for a three two great great character solid again two five for a three two great character the Bamor monk three four for a destiny eh, zero power could be worse uh, but yeah, that is all the Jedi Sealed. Totally free, uh, fun to play, so go to the forums. Again, we are in Star Wars CCG, the game, the game camp online play in Sealed League signups. All you gotta do is send a message to Batmouse and then go find your packs and check the leagues for when the next one is coming. And then when it comes, open up your deck builder, select your Sealed League. So like for example, it would look something like this. I haven't uh, opened my Jabba's Palace one yet. So I could open this Jabba's Palace sealed deck, which would give me these packs here. Six packs. I could bust them all open. A Shasha Teal, is that my rare? Pretty dumpy. Pretty dumpy. See if we got the Hamenth though, always good, although less good in Jabba's Palace because there's no Imperials really. Or none, there is no Imperials. Barada. Elam, again, not good in Jabba's Palace, there's no Imperials. <laughs> uh, that could be 
maybe maybe that would be useless the four the four destiny is nice this would be a really good card cancel the game text of a unique alien in case they pull someone good or cancel all the remaining attrition for the aliens so pretty decent and then yeah sometimes like this when you open a pack it like won't pop up but if you navigate back to this portion of gimp and it shows up oh ball and portal really good but then yeah you won't it's weird sometimes but yeah then i would go like that and once i'm finished opening all my packs another sasha teal ooh baby then i would go to cards well i have travis bell sealed selected and then i would build my deck and i would uh, save it something that i remembered and then yeah when the league ends all the cards disappear you can go to the next one all right Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.